Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. It's 11 March. Risk off overnight. Uh, Biden looks like he picked up some delegates on um, the election, the Democratic nomination race last night. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, we still got some risk off. Um, just part of the bear market, really, I guess. Uh, what were we? We were down 7%, up 5, down 5, up 5. Now we're down 4, down 4. So let's look at this. Yes. This is what happens in a bear market, right? So you're, you're down 7 from the gap. You're up 5. You're down 5 in the same day. You're up 5 in the same day. Uh, now you're down four consolidation here, and then it has to decide. Uh, could go either way. Probably going to head lower. Um, do we have uh, some sort of gaspy moment where we get up to 29, 65, 3,000? Maybe. Um, but we're sideways here. Tactical trading is the only way. Um, keeps your sanity. Uh, and keeps your PL stream positive, keeps your VAR uh, within reason, keeps your sharp ratio super high. So, this is what we recommend. More importantly than stocks, we've been talking about it a while now, is uh, fixed income. Same thing, you're tactically trading this. So, this got very dicey up here 139.20s, 139.10s. Then it looked great yesterday at 5 a.m. at 137.04. Then it looked a little bit uh, wonky at 138.20. Then it looked great again at 137.10. Uh, you want to keep a core short. So say you have 100 ZN on. You want to keep a core short of about 15.15. And you want to be trading, uh, you know, 20% of this position. So you're sitting there buying and selling 20s uh, when it looks like you're very near the bottom you may you know you may buy 04s for 20 then you may buy figures for 20 all of a sudden you're kind of long 40 um, against this that's the kind of trading that you need to do and then as it goes back higher you can release some that you bought um, and you almost never want to really get caught with the full full position unless you are hyper sure of direction and professionally speaking that's going to be when you're selling through the lows not fading selling through the lows so there will be a moment here in fixed income where we'll be like say the yield we're gonna look at this and there's gonna be consolidation and it may be this point here 82 82 basis points too early to tell yet um, but when we've had consolidation, we've screwed around with a lot of people in this tactical zone. Hopefully, you've built up a cash pool. Mm. Then you can smash this. Maybe it's going to be a pivot through 91 basis points. That is when you go full max. Um, you do not go full max on the fade because it's just a little bit, the volatility is a little bit too high. Um, and. You just don't want to get run over. You know, rule number one in this business, keep your seat. So tactically trading, same thing with S&Ps. I would argue the same thing with dollar yen. These are all basically exactly the same trade anyway. So um, boons, same thing. Where, where are our boons today? Yesterday, you had chances to sell 177.50, 176.50, three times. Bing, 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 bing. You know, you have a yield at minus 80 basis points. If B, if ECB cuts on Thursday, which I don't think they're going to, if this seemed to be I'm getting a bit lonely on this call, a lot of people are calling for cuts, uh, and they move rates down to minus 100 or so, mm. uh, then boons are going to have a little bit more upside. But of course, if they don't cut... Um, we're using the cash rate as our ceiling for yield and boons. 
that's kind of the strategy uh, and then when the fiscal tsunami comes in you want to be core short all fixed income BTPs same deal except for you just never long BTPs <laughs> you're either short or you're square short or you're square um, anyway uh, let's let's look at sterling today. We have the UK budget today uh, and monthly uh, sort of data data dump, as you will say. So sterling might move today. I mean, it seems a little bit sec secondary with the um, coronavirus and stuff, but you know, this is basically Boris's first budget. Um, I don't know how this is going to go well. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, to be fair, I haven't looked at the budget too closely. Uh, it's kind of secondary, but you can see yesterday's price action. The Sterling Watchers, which has not been me recently, um, got pretty negative. And so it makes sense to me also that their budget is going to be screwed. Um, so I don't know what to say in a sense, except for just let's watch this. Um, let's watch the budget speech and let's watch the data out of the UK. Euro sterling is probably your horse if you want weaker sterling. Just because we got loads of upside back to 93.50, uh, you're kind of right near these highs here, and this is a pivot. Uh, 87 84 is the 87 81 is yesterday's high uh, we've been up to 79 today you can see this on the hourlies this might be a, a, a jumping point we're not going to be uh, knee deep in sterling today we've been spending a lot more time obviously trading S&P's and dollar yen recently uh, but just to let everyone know, Sterling's going to move today uh, on budget and data out of the UK. Euro could not get down to 112.50 yesterday. We did blip to 112.75. Now we're back in the middle of, of nowhere. This is a theme with all the currencies. If you look quickly, we're in the middle of nowhere. These are not places to trade when you're in the middle of you don't trade. We trade on the edges. You either buy through the highs, sell through the lows, or you sell at the highs and buy at the lows, depending if you're mean reversion or, or momentum. You can make money either way. But when you're in the middle of the range here, like everything, even dollar cad, we, we went up to 138 yesterday, but now we're back at 16, middle of the range. This is going to become a point in EuroCAD 154.26, but probably not for today. Um, finally, a couple of things. Bitcoin not moving sideways here. Um, we did get up to 81.50 yesterday. Still holding long Bitcoin with plenty of plenty of powder to buy low ones. Um, core long Bitcoin we do like. It has not uh, done anything for us the last three days. All the volatility everywhere, Bitcoin vol has been zero. Um, anyway, Bitcoin is there, dollar max, crazy vol, but again, back in the middle. So stand down on this shit. Uh, on the currencies, just be patient and wait. Quickly, um, we had a move last night to 136.46 in crude. Um, that looks like kind of capitulatory. We had we had a bunch of stops at 135. Move in Asia is never really a good sign. Um, now we're back at 135. Don't really know what to do with this except for kind of want to just sell sort of 138.50s between 138.50 and 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 not 138.50 between 30 38.50 and 40 bucks. You also want to buy this at 26 bucks. So again, looks like we're dead smack in the middle and crude. Not really sure what to do with it. Uh, but we did fail on our uh, move above 35 bucks, 34, 32, the low after the high. 
Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, again, the calendar is UK budget today. It's Wednesday, so there'll be uh, oil inventories, which nobody cares about. And um, let me just have a quick look here. So budgets uh, just after lunch. Oh yeah, U.S. CPI today again. It's uh, secondary right now. We're on this sort of fear and greed trade. Government stimulus or not, coronavirus or not. Hard to imagine CPI could be anything but negative uh, in the U.S. But again, this is backward looking. And this whole corona thing is only kind of like a month old. So... Um, I just don't think the data is going to be a real mover, but we do have CPI today in the U.S. Uh, the shock would be a high one. Uh, so, UK budget, CPI, no real trade in the currencies. In fact, we don't really have much going on. We're going to be fading Boons uh, and ZN as we like to do, probably ZN around 138.24. Um, and then Boons, we're going to wait for 178.30 today. Uh, core short, but tactically trading from the short side. Good luck out there, people. See you tomorrow. Ciao.